Now, good morning and welcome to the Mixed World Championships Day 2, our first match of 10 today from Academy Lanes Haverhill Mass, Kai Hunt on the right for Huff Power Sports on lane 34. On lane 33 is Tina Wood for Harry's All-Stars who went 4-1 yesterday. Huff Power Sports went 2-3, and three. it's two points for a win, one for a tie, nothing for a loss. 21 strings over three days. Five yesterday, ten today, six tomorrow, starting at nine o'clock. All rebroadcast on Spread Eagle Productions. Subscribe for free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions. Along with Bob Lee and Paul Grant, great to be with you again. Kai Hunt starts with an eight. Tina Ward a nine. Kai goes left, has the one, seven, eight, and ten, and that's that's the shot almost that it was made yesterday by Al Nelson. Had the one shot similar to that yesterday, win by one pin at the end. Match number three. Catch it on Spread Eagle Productions. Hot, nice ball, almost. Kai from Burnham, Maine. Bowling since he was seven years old. Richard from Guilford, Maine. 119 league bowler out of Newport Entertainment Center, Newport, Maine. 10 19 through 2. Tina Ward, a 178 high single, high triple, 447. High five is 657. Pair of nines, 18 through 2. Tied so far here. One swing match. 22 teams, 21 matches. First of 10 today underway from Haverhill. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. Our, uh, let's see if I can get a view of the front cam. It's our first view of uh, Laura Durfler for very close. Awesome. Here's Christy Hapworth on the right, has the one, the three, and the ten. Laura Dorfler on the left has the Clary. Hapworth looks good, and she got it to go for a spare. And what a shot by Dorfler. That's the Christy Hapworth shot. She actually made one yesterday for a change. Better known as the Clary around here, obviously. Maybe we call it the Christy Hapworth special. Both with spare. Hapworth on the bonus ball. On the head pin, it's nine. He's up the two pin. 19 after one. Laura Dorfler gets three, 13 after one. Laura's 39 years old. Hopkinton, New Hampshire. Richard from Hedekin, New Hampshire. And Christy Hapworth on a roll. Two spares to start. 29 the ball through two. In the number two spot. Laura, there's six left. Christy Hapworth from Vernon, Maine, league average of 110. Laura Dorfler's high average is 116 for career, currently 105. Has a high single of 180, high triple of 391, and a high five of 607. Here's Vanessa Huff, third bowler for Huff Power Sports. Nice ball. Ten pin won't go. That's the five. Oh, here it goes. Coming back for more. Now the five pin. Yes, a strike to start for Steve Reno Jr. What a start here at Academy Lanes. First and ten, a spare to Vanessa Huff. Did you get the voices going early, Bob? <laughs> Five matches yesterday, ten today. It's our first one. Six tomorrow, starting at nine o'clock. Vanessa from Burner, Maine. Richie from St. Albans, Maine. On the spare, gets eight. Good piece of wood as the five and the eight. 18 after one. Reno for two. Eight, great piece of wood. Two and the five. Working a strike on lane 33. Huff, oh, we got robbed. Reno for a spare and strike, yes. 20 after one, 30 of the ball through two. In the first of 10 matches, all single string matches. Huff right on for a 10, 28 through two.
good pitting overall so far. Steve, you know, 20 through 1, 30 and a ball through 2. We've been bowling Monday night, uh, Tuesday night, Bob, in the ACST Pro Division Southern Conference in the middle of 7 o'clock, live broadcast on Facebook. Can't up and chat, bowling our network. Here's Ryan Cox. Like Ryan Hogan, a lemon drop, one dollar for Al Johnson's killer pitcher cancer. Jonathan Boudreau in the fourth spot. That's the five, eight, and the ten. Ryan, punch out another one. Yikes. Boudreau, good bid. He's up the eight and the ten. Ryan Cox just turned 20 April 14th. A tough start for him. Just a four. Pedrol, nine to start. Ryan Cox, a 123 average bowler. 195 high single, high triple, 508, high five, a 705, just 20 years old. Like Ryan Hogan, he pulls up his right foot. Same. Side is his delivery. Head been hit with Tough leave. Four seven. Left side five middle ten right. Johnson Boudreau. Unfortunately, the bowlers those are some steady pins. All right, run now, John. John the Boudreau three. Six eighty four. Now Johnson's kennel for with cancer. Number one seed that latter series. Ryan's open with a 5 and 10 bullet discount. Boudreaux on the object pin, but won't carry. That's the 4, 7, and the 9. Jonathan from East Boston, originally from Lynn, Mass. 117 average right now, but climbing up lately. 131 career high average. A 200 high single. Nice shot for 10. 19 through 2. Ryan Cox, 13 through 2. Here's Carl Witham. Carl Witham, 31 years old. 119 average. High single of 175. High triple of 445. High five is 698. High 10 of 1298. Also at like Bangor Brewer Lanes in Bangor, Maine. 24 lane facility. And the ever steady John Winchell on the left, the Harry's All Stars. Carl gets the Triangle. John Winchell with Harry's All Stars. On the head pin, has the three, pickles the, just the six and the seven now. Four pieces of wood. They get three. With them, only one. John from Brentwood, New Hampshire, originally from Boston, Mass. 122 league bowler. What's this? Good try, but. Probably hit the wood there on the side of the pin, going to the wood. Right, ten, John. Come on, hold, come on, Wouldn't go. Kyle Wooth with 10 to start. John Winchell's high single 190. He's done it twice. It's a 10 to start. John Boss is 1975. His grandmother got him involved in, along with his family. Bowls at Exeter Lanes, Exeter, New Hampshire. He's won five consecutive money matches with Brian Fuller Jr. The next one, July 16th. It's Nate Lees and Josh Daly. That'll be a good one. Justin Scally, Bob Lee with that call. Kyle with him, thin hit. That's the four, seven, nine, and ten. Two pieces of wood. One chill head pin again. Baby split. Five to the left, has the half push to right, the three and nine. Ten pin right corner, two pieces of wood. First of ten matches underway. Oh, good shot! A curl, a curl! Oh, yeah! What a shot! Wow, a spare! Winchell is denied. Carl with them, spectacular shot. Twenty the ball through two. John Winchell, pair of tens, twenty through two. Great ball and early on, Bob here. All right, two marks on the board for uh, Huff Power Sports. Harry's All Stars with one, but uh, and a 13 pin lead early going. Huff Power Sports two and three, Power Sports two and three coming in. Harry's All Stars four and one. Welcome to those who just joined us from Candlepin Chat. We just went live there. Yes. 
Back to top of the order. Tina Ward, the Harry's All Stars, has the two and the five and the seven to left. Good piece of wood to help. Kai Hunt on the left. Bob Power Sports. Oh, good try. Hunt, good effort also. Just missed. Kai just turned 19 on May 11th. Tina Ward a 10, Kai Hunt a 9. Right here, girls. Stay on it. Kai 27 through 3, Tina 28 through 3. Tina Ward 44 years old on a high level still. 178 high single, 3 1 split. Kai Hunt steals a bunch. That's the 9 and the 10. Tina's high triple 447, high 5 657 out of bogey lanes. Too full. All right, good two. Hunt. Ski ball shot wouldn't go. Oh, pretty shot. For Tina Water 10. 38 through 4. Good pinning. Kai Hunt at 8. 35 through 4. You're watching the mixed. World Tournament from Academy Lane Table Mass. Thank you for watching this morning. It's our first of 10 matches. Five yesterday. Catch them all on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Subscribe for free. Spread Eagle Productions. Laura Dorfler from Harry's All Stars on lane 34. Christy Happer in the on the side. Happer with two spares, 29 in the ball. Goes left and a lemon drop. One dollar for Al Johnson's Caleb Finch for Cancer. Oh, Lord. Tough fill. 30 through 2. That's two dummy drops so far. Laura missed it. Nice bounce back at Christie, but at least up the 2, 7, 6, and 10 to the right. Two pieces of wood. Laura, 105 average, career best 116, gets a 9. 27 for 3, and a spare 3, and a 5. Christy Abworth, an 8. Spare 9, spare 1, 8. 38 for 3. Laura's high single, 180, high triple, 391, high 5, 607. Pulls out of Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire. Same house as Faye Sawyer and Anthony Karen. Just off to the right has the one, two, and the seven. Christy, head pin. Look at this. Three, five in the middle, four, seven left, ten pin right corner, two pieces of wood. Laura Bowles is 1988. This is 2.7 pound urethane bowling balls. Oh, nice shot for the last pair. Second spare, 37 the ball through four. Christy, good try. He's up the four and the seven. Christy, a 110 league bowler, high single 178, high triple 422, high 10 1221 out of Newport Entertainment Center, Newport, Maine. It's a 10. 48. 48 through 4. She has spare 8. Uh, sorry, spare 9, spare 1, 8, now a 10, 48 through 4. Match is all squared now, and Harry's All Stars has the advantage with uh, two bonus balls coming up. One of them coming right here from Steve Reno, who had a strike and a spare in the first two. Thank you, Bob. Nessa Huff on the left. Reno on a roll of late gets six. Good to help. 36 to 2 here. One string match. Nessa goes left. Gets seven. Has the one, three, and the six. Reno Jr. He's up the seven and nine. Vanessa for spare. Wouldn't carry. Vanessa, 113 league bowler. Reno a nine. 45 through three. So Steve Reno Sr., the captain of the team. Vanessa Huff a nine. 37 through three. Vanessa Huff won the main APH tournament. April 9th in Scarborough, the Big 20, was the runner-up to Shannon Scribner 
in the Maine State Open Elimination Tournament. Second Chris Trigger while well, well, the ball's trying to get his hand. Terrific bowler. Both Christy Hapworth in the women's money match. Well, I'm sorry, women's double match. Yep. 40 mile an September, hour. September 10th at Extra Lanes. 40 mile an hour pitch from uh, Steve Reno Jr. as recorded by his father, Steve Reno Sr. on the, on the bush. Here. He's head pin. That's the four. All right, get two. The six and the ten. Vanessa, one, two, four, the ten. He's up the head pin. Vanessa's high single, 176, high triple, 412. High five, 610. High ten at 1204 out of 1710 in Augusta, Maine. Both with a nine. Vanessa, 46 through four. Steve Reno, 54 through four. We'll see him seven o'clock live Tuesday night for Millis for the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour Conference Finals ready, ready against number one seed Justin Waters. All right, a six pin lead now for Harry's All-Stars. Both teams with one one bonus coming up. Jonathan Woodrow, 19 through two, the lefty on lead 34. Ten of the head pin, the pack of five plus the 10. Mayan Cox at a four to nine, 13 through two. Trying to regroup here, gets five. Woodrow, almost, good try. Ryan leads at the wall with discount the five and ten. We'll draw a nine, 28 through three. Nice ten, Ryan Cox, 23 through three. Ryan again is high singles, 195, high triple 508, high five 705. Woodrow in the pocket. Oh, what a ball, Nine. Uh, what a ball, Take a strike ball there. Seven pin left up. Ryan gets four. At the age of six, Ryan Cox was sitting down in the living room. His father came home from work and told him he signed him up to a youth bowling league. Bowling ever since then. Bowling 123 average nowadays. Woodrow nails it for a spare. 38 in the ball through four. On the object pin, Ryan leads up the six to the right, four seven to the left. Ryan says there's more trophies and medals that you can check a stick at. Only since 2008. It's a seven, just 30 through four. John Winchell with Harry's All Stars. Working a spare, 38 in the ball. Lead shifted over to Harry's All Stars just now. Up by eight. And a ball. John Winchell's bonus ball is six. 44 through four. He, he's, he's, he had a pair of tens, but Carl's Carl got the last bonus ball. There's two coming up. I'm looking at the wrong screen. My fault. John had two tens. Thanks, Bob. So Carl with a five there. Still trying to wake up. Carl with a post. Five in the field. 25 through two. Winchell, good effort. He's up to seven pin. Nice In the hole. Carl's father. And Carl watched bowling growing up in TV, the old Canopy Action Bowling Show in Maine. At the Augusta Maine 1710 Bowling Center. Winchell at 10. Three tens, 30 for three. Kyle Witham, 33 with an eight box through three. Kyle Witham, three-time Maine All Events Youth State Champion. Five times an ICYBA trophy winner of the Youth Internationals in Portsmouth. Winchell in the pocket, pack of five plus a 10. Head pin hit. Has the four to the left, the six to the right. Wood to help. Winchell's open. Okay. So Carl's consulting with uh, his captain, uh, Matt, Matt Huff, there. I think they're, they're talking about which of these pieces of wood. I, I say you go left. Let, yeah, left that pin and slide the wood over. It's going it's right. right. Oh, no. Got her. That's, that's, that's lost a ball. Tough break, eight. So Clemens go right for him, but 
pull it too far. 41 through 4. Winchell. Not at eight blocks, John. 38 through four. Good pinning. As usual, John Winchell. Lead is five, but with two uh, two hits coming up for Harry's All Stars, they switch. Fifth and sixth frames coming up next. All right, here's Kai Hunt now on the right side. Tough power sports. Goes left, gets three. 35 is first 14 of Ward. Solid pinning, two nines, two tens, 38 through four on lane 33. Has the one, four, and the seven. Hi, Hun. Good try, almost. Nice ball, but two fall on the head pin. Good try by Tina. Kai, 10. 45 half. Nice 10, Tina. Nice half, nice half. 48 half, Tina. Big second half, Tina. Great crowd of hand places packed here. Academy Lane Table Mass. Mixed World Championships. Day two of three. Kai Hunt half west for the two and the eight. Tina Ward, head pin two full, 3 2 split. Work it out, Tina, you make those. Guy the 1 7 10. Tina's open. Guy's nice father Brent got him involved in bowling. He threw a 38 mile per hour fastball. 8, is 53 through 6. Went to the World Tournament, tournament at the age of 16 in Canada. Threw a 672 at the age of 14. He's won two adult junior state titles two years in a row with his father, Brent. He's pulled over 15, 170 strings. Including a warm up string of 179, then through a 176 first string right after that in league play. Kai Hunt, just 19 years old, great young bowler. Christy Atwood has the check mark. 48 at first four. Laura Dorfler working a spare. Goes right and just one. 38 through four, and that's spare fill. Christy, nice ball, spare! Third mark of the string. A lot of strikes out to our left on 31 and 32. Laura, yikes, half Western. Laura won the New Hampshire State Handicap Championship title and the New Hampshire Ladies Single Strat Championship under her belt. It's a six, 43 half. Her hobbies include reading, hiking, camping, and spending time with her nephews. Terrific woman, good bowler. Hapworth on the bonus in the pocket, triangle. Yeah, With about 45% pro bowls on wood, according to spread equal production stats. That's Seven fill, 65 half. That's a lead change. Just two for Laura Dorfler. Both teams now with one in the bonus, an eight pin lead. Christine, off the mark there. What a whisper there, that shot. Christy at nine. Solid start for her. 74 through six. Harry's All Stars 4 1 coming in today. Huff Power Sports 2 and 3. Two points for a win, one for tie. 21 matches for 22 teams over the course of three days. Our first at 10 today. Five uh, yesterday, six tomorrow, starting at 9 o'clock. Five broadcast on the Wallander Network, Camp and Chat. Laura Dorf was 6.50 through 6. Right. Vanessa Huff, 46 through 4 on the right for Huff Power Sports. Stevie Noe Jr., 54 through 4, open also. Vanessa, nice ball, a go! Looked like a strike. He's at the 4 and the 10. 
11 pin lead for Huff Power Sports right now. One mark advantage for Harry's All Stars. You know, would it help possibly? 3 6 and the fourth to the left. Nessa trying to kick it over. Let go, not quite. Now it goes! The first two went right by it. This one goes right at it. A spare. That's a 56 half plus a bonus ball. Steve Reno Jr. is open. It's a nine. 63 half. Greg Gouya here. Good morning, Greg. How are you? Good morning, Paul. Doing fine. How are you? Good. Thank you. How was your ride in? Uh, not too bad. Oh, it's smooth sailing through the part of this Fred Eagle production team. That's yeah. up. Looks good. Eight on the spare fill. That's the four and the eight. Reno in the pocket. That's the three, six, nine, and ten. Vanessa, 64 half. Hook to the left. Reno Jr. leads up the three pin. Vanessa, 2017 Maine State Open's doubles champion with Christy Hapworth. 2019 Maine State Open mixed team title with Christy Hapworth, Matt Huff, and Evan River. And 2018 Bowlers Choice Tournament Finals with Zach Skinner. It's a 9. 73, 73 through 6. Reno Jr. at 10. Yeah. Steve's at 73 uh, through 6. Yeah, One thing, Paul, it's my favorite part of today. Bowling all day and, of course, all day Sunday as well. Lots of matches. So looking forward to a full day of broadcasting here on Bowling Nerd Network. First of 10 matches today, 6 more tomorrow, starting 9 o'clock. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, Greg Guia here. Greg, can I get your name right this time? Yep. Here's Ryan Cox, just 30 through 4. Jonathan McGraw on the bonus. Strike! Punch oh. fair! What a shot! That brings the lead under 10. Cox leads up the 4 and the 8. 48 through 4, 58 plus 2. Jonathan Boudreau on lane 33. Barry's All Stars. Ryan Cox at 10. 40 half. Not the start he wanted. Nine pin lead for Huff Power Sports. Nice ball there. It's a break. That's the nine pin. One piece of wood to help. Jonathan on a strike for double. Double strike! Bang! Wow! Boudreau on fire! The last minute. Ryan Cox breaks through. A spare. 15 of ball through six. John Boudreau, 78 plus bonus balls. A double strike. And finally, a smile on his face. That's a fierce competitor. Kyle with him. On the right, the Huff Power Sports, 41 through four to spare five in the second. Right in the pocket, wobbling pins, leads up the two pin. Jonathan Winchell, give his first mark, 38 through four. Half was to right, my least favorite shot. What's your least favorite shot, Greg? Well, that half Worcester you mentioned is always a dastardly one. With him for a spare. Got it! Punch his fist! Second mark. 51 half plus one. 119 lead bowler. Ice in the 175. Ball, Winchell's ball, open. Ball, and that's now. my least favorite lead, although it usually happens on the first ball. 5, 6, 10. Even with, on the wood, opposite. Even with wood, it's hard to get. Kyle with him is high triple 445. High 5, 698. High 10, 1298. Winchell, a nine. Solid pinning as usual. And the veteran, 47 half. Only three pins lost in that first half. Match is now all square. Of course, Jonathan Boudreau working on a on a double. We have uh, Ryan Cox and Carl with them, uh, with, with working on spares for Huff. Virtual tie. Three one split as the two four seven left. Six pins to the right. 57 half. John Winchell right in the pocket for a strike, almost. Kingpin left up the five pin. 
Gotta be careful of that wood there. Wanna go right to that pin. Preferably. Good still carry. With him trying to kick it over, hook it left. Anchor ball is away here. Points are right on it. His first spare, 57 of the ball through six. Well placed, he needed to keep to the right of that wood. Well done for the spare. His first. With him, not happy that seven box, 64 through six. Carries All-Stars, leads by four in this one string match. Yeah, and, and the double, that's gonna, that, that's gonna put them up by a, probably another 12 or 15. The average strike fill is about 8.3 per spread equal production stats. Yeah, but a double, he's gonna, yep. <laughs> that, yep. that one counts three times. Yep. 24, 25 perhaps, yep. we'll see. Back to the top of the order. Tina Ward on the right for Harry's All-Stars. 53 through six, goes left, he gets four. Here's Kai Hunt, 53 through six. Nice ball, nine. Single pins go about 72% without wood, according to spread equal production stats. Nice ball, won't go. Good. Hunt, got it. His first match. 63 and a ball through seven for the 19 year older. From Vernon, Maine. Tina for 10 to nine. 62 to seven. Just incredible young ball of Kai Hunt. Does pull a faster house. New point entertainment, so the pins fly there. There's a challenge in some respects going to different houses. Having to work for every pin, a lot of bowlers swear it makes you a better bowler. Absolutely. Tina goes right, he has a parallel pin plus the nine. Hunt on the bonus, breaks up the split. Wood's still going. That's the 310 now. Oh boy, happy about the fill, but unlucky leave now. Yeah, they're standing up on the fill. Eight, 71 through seven. Tina won good bid, leads up the eight. Field goal, Kai. Nice penny for Tina Ward, 72 through 8. Kai Hunt, a 10. Make that 9, correction by fault. 10, 9 marks, 80 through 8. Laura Doffel trying to get on track here. Back to back 6 boxes, 50 through 6 on the right. And Harry's All Stars. Christy Hapworth, 3 spares this half. 74 through 6 open on the left. The Huff Power Sports, two and three so far. This way from Laura, just a seven. Come on, Laura. Come on, pick him up. Christy off to the left, gets four. Wobbling one pin. What could help? Laura trying to bounce back, goes right. Come on, go get him up. Go get him up. A lot of excitement here at Haverhill Academy Lanes. Christy Goodbids is open, the 3 9, the 10, two pieces of wood. Got back on the head pin, a chance for an out here that could gain a few pins anyway. It's the NFL NBA stadium field, doesn't it? Right? It's so loud here. Oh, the hype is amazing. Five for Laura. Right down, Laura. Tough sledding, 55 to 7. Bring that one's here. Christy and 8. 82 to 7. Was hoping for at least a 9, but still gains a few pins, about half a mark. Christy Hepworth in 2016 won the Maine State Singles Open Championship as a Maine State doubles title with Vanessa Huff, her sister-in-law. Laura Dorfler, only three. Hey, run him down! Trying to regroup right, here. A good shot here. My singles 180. Christy in the pocket. That's the two and the seven. Good second ball, these are the one, six, and ten. Come on, get a couple. Christy looking for a fourth spare to string. Looks good. She got it. Beautiful place for shot. 92 in the ball through eight. First of ten matches. You said it, Paul. Ball on the inside, deflected from the two to the seven. Nice shot. Eight for Laura Doppler. Nice 63 through eight. Steve Reno Jr. On the right for Harry's All-Stars. 
73 through 6. Vanessa Huff, 73 through 6, also on the left. In the blue. Sees a 115 lead ball, gets 9. Has the 2 pin. Vanessa Huff goes right, gets a break, has the 1, 2, and the 4. They go about 51% for pro balls on wood, according to Spade Production Stats. Reno Jr. spare. Hit the wood, carry into the pin. 83 in the ball through 7. Huff, punch up the middle. Steve had a strike and a spare to start. Third mark of the strength. Pretty shot off the ball for 10. That's a hop. Terrific goal at 83 through 7. She's all business on the lanes. Impressive high single of 176 for Vanessa Huff. Reno Jr. on the spare gets four. 87 through seven. Vanessa, nice ball. Has the five, nine, and 10. She enjoys softball from the time off. Played softball and soccer in high school. She has two kids, Morgan, six and a half, and Jacoby, four. Third ball each. Reno needs some pins here. Parallel pins plus the six for Reno Jr. And gets a nine. 96 to eight. That's up 10. 93 to eight. God is out. Saved his team a few pins. And now Jonathan Boudreaux on you know what. Okay, Jonathan Boudreaux on a double strike. It's high. Nominally trailing by six, but that's going to change right here. On the double. That's the post. Not happy with that one. Great right, first ball and five in the first double strike ball. Big 25, Phil. They'll give him 73 half. Now it's 83 plus a ball here. And missed everything. All right, get a bunch, John. Come on. Yeah. Ain't a better here. We'll check the math in a minute. Yeah, the scoreboard's behind. Total of 20 on those two strike fills. Not bad. Ryan Cox from left behind Power Sports. 3 1 split. Boudreaux. Nice out for 9. 88 through 6, now 97 through 7. And he just gained half a mark. 9 versus 6. Ryan Cox struggling. The 123 lead bowler, only 59 through 7 here. Impressive high five of 705 and a high triple of 508 with well, a high single of 195. Just 20 years old, bright future. Boudreau head pin has the five, nine, the seventh left, no wood. John the part of the 2016 week team tournament, lucky strike. Almost a spare, wouldn't go. Ryan. Oh, good try by Boudreaux. That's how good a bowler Boudreaux is. He got disappointed he missed that 5-7-9. You saw the body language. Ryan Cox gets a spare. Second mark, 60 on the ball through eight. Boudreaux at 10 box. 107 through eight. That double strike is huge. It's only two marks. Actually a spare, a double strike. Put them all together like that. Go from 28 through three. To 88 through 6, now 107 through 8. All right, Bob, updating the scores here. All right, I think, I think I'm caught up. It's like 398 to 395. Uh, that's, a, that's a score up there. I am just double checking my math on, my, on, the, on the leaderboard. Two marks to one advantage also for the Huff Power Sports. Come on, John. Come on, bud. John can do a 3 1 split. Run him down, run him down. On the spare. 63 through 6. Kyle uh, Wortham, 5 pins slid over towards the 9. It's 4. A 119 league bowler out of Bangor, Brewer, Maine. Bangor, Brewer, Maine. Maine. John Winchell's open. Just missed that pin. Jonathan Winchell's high trouble, 467, high five, 744. Again, a 190 high single twice. 
his accomplishments are tremendous. Won the Atlantic Kettleton Singles Tour second season, Pro Division. Runner up last year. Eight for Carl Witham, 72 to 7. Bob Lee in the scoreboard <laughs> on the technology. Now we have now we have a exact match with the official score. It's 410 to 406. Uh, four pin lead for Harry's All Stars, but we have two bonus balls coming up for for Huff's Power Sports. John Mitchell's fair lead. Oh, Carl turns around. They have three more fall. <laughs> Maybe you should bowl backwards, huh? Yes, I can, Carl. You've got a chance to put a third mark on the board for your team. And be careful that front piece of wood. You want to go right around that if you can. Jonathan, John uh, Winchell rather, has the two and the five. Great chance for a spare. And one right. He just missed too many of those. All right, get a 10, John. And that's the one I was afraid of. He hit it. Missed opportunity. Nasty diagonal, verticalish angle. Tough break. Big finish, guys. Come on, Harry. Let's go. Nine for Winchell. Ten for Witham. John, eight, John Winchell, 81 through eight. Carl Witham, 82 through eight. Final two boxes. Uh, first of ten matches today from Academy Lane's Haverhill, Mass. The Mixed World Champion, National Mixed World Championships. Should be three. Let's go. So two, 82. It's a three. Four pin lead, is it? Uh, three up there. Should be three. Winchell is 81. So a three pin lead. The Harry's All Stars, but two bonus balls coming up. Yep. Hot power sports. That has been confirmed. Carol Pinch for Kai Hunt. Tino Wood, nice ball there. He's at the 10 pin. Carol Pins. Yep. 10 pin left up. Tina enjoys horseshoes and fishing. And time off a spare. Big shot in the ninth. 82 the ball through nine. High a nine. 89 through nine. Another fantastic finish here. Match three yesterday. Al Nelson got a watch on Spreading Bunch and a thrilling shot to win the match by one pin. Al Nelson from Maine. Check out Spreading Productions, match three of the Mixed World Championships. High hot, nice ball! Strike for the 10! 99 plus 2 for the 19 year older. That's stubborn. Second Kingpin mark of the, the string. Sorry to interrupt all that stubborn kingpin, the last to fall. Tina with a bonus, gets a break, gets 8, has the 1 and 2. 90 through 9. Big time washout, that could be significant. Another spare, missed it. You gotta feel for the balls. You, 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 you make that shot nine times out of ten, it seems like. Well, you actually, only go 51% for two pinners, but as a bowler, you want it every time, obviously. And only got a nine. Strong finish for Tina Ward, 99 string. Ty Hat working on a strike on lane 34 to close up the string. Right down the middle. Gets a break, though. That's the four, seven, and the nine. Three pieces of wood. One more bonus ball. Working a strike. I'm trying to recall, I think it's 14% of head hit, hit hits result in strikes, but no matter what, the bowlers always get hyped. Two of ya! Chance Huff Power Sports. Nine to strike for Kai Hunt. Huff Power Sports, 108. And the update from Bob Lee, what's the match lead, Bob? All right, well that makes it two, but... Uh, Harry's All-Stars lead by two. There are two bonus balls coming up for Huff Power Sports, so... Yeah, the virtual Harry, lead. Harry's will need, will need to mark. Chris Yip with a great string on his spare here. 92 to the ball, but a half whister. Yikes. 94 through 8. We're all square. Oh, Good ball. 63 through 8. Nice ball there, but a tough split. That's the 4 left side. 6 10 to right. As of right now, the match is tied. Dead even right now. One mark advantage, though. Off power sports. Christy comes back. He's up to 4 7, 9 and 10. One piece of wood. I'm going for the wood here, Greg. Unlucky not to carry more on that. The wood might only carry the nine, but possibly the ten. We'll see. All oh, right, try and kick it over. Close to the left side. Nice ball. We'll try. Ball. Helicopter halfway across the plate. Not quite. I get a ten though. Chris, try to kick it over. You're right, Greg. 
Right as always, Greg, right? Right as always, Greg. <laughs> All right, draw for a nine. 72 through nine. Christy Happ with a seven. 101 through nine. Two pin lead for Harry's All Stars. Juan Marco for Huff Power Sports. Rolling finish here at Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass. Mixed World Championships. First of 10 matches, six more tomorrow, starting at nine o'clock. Two points for a win, one for tie, no playoffs. Top point getter wins championship. Nice ball strike! Close to fist, strike of the 10th, huge, 82 plus two. Aries, oh, what a try for Christy. And Dorfler's third mark wants a big fill this time. Good for her, and a spare three in the first. A spare no, no, one, actually a third go. mark. Huff a nine, 110 string. Three pin lead for Harry's All Stars. The marks are even, one apiece. He's going to be huge right here. Momentum shift here, possibly. Laura Doffler from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, Hampshire, on a strike. Close left, gets four. Lead is seven. Harry's All Stars. Ryan Cox on the spare for Huff Power Sports. Fourth bowler. Second ball on the strike to finish the string. Three more. Seven, Phil. Lead is ten. Nice finish for Laura Dorf for 89. Does the, does the job indeed. The margin's still within a mark. Now Harry's All Stars with the advantage. 10 pin lead for Harry's All Stars. One mark for Huff Power Sports. Finesse up 93 through 8 open on lane 34. Gets four. Four Horseman plus the six and ten. Steve Vino Jr. open 96 to 8 on lane 33. Head pin. 310 leave. How are you playing the wood here, uh, Greg? Oh, what's going away now? It's still rolling. Finesse grabs a bunch. That's the one and the ten. No wood to play now. Just him. Try to go inside the three to the ten. Best chance. Could go outside too. And went right on. Two more left. Just a smidge too full. Missed barely. Next for a field goal for an eight. One on one through nine. Reno at ten. Two big pins. They gain. One on six through nine. Five bucks. Five boxes to go. The lead is 12 for Harry's All Stars. I'm excited too. <laughs> Tough to sleep. These matches are so exciting. Right down the middle is Bob Lee Spread Eagle Production. The great candle from Bowling. Subscribe free to Spread Eagle Production YouTube. Green up for a strike. It's nine. Great piece of wood. Harry's All Stars try to go five and one. Off Pilots Boy try to go three and three. This is open. Two, four, seven of the ten. Reno, a spare, the 10th, 160 the ball. The lead will increase. Yes, a nice out, pretty shot for 10. 111 string. That second ball wasn't bad either. The 10th pin should have gone on that ball. Well deserved 10. 12 pin lead, plus this bonus ball from Steve Reno Jr. Huff Power Sports has a ball also to work on next when Ryan Cox delivers. Steve Vino Jr. goes right, gets six. 122 for Steve Vino Jr. The Harry's All Stars. The lead is 18. Huff Power Sports on a spare now to cut it to single digits, preferably for them. You can use a hammer here. Ryan Cox, 69 in the ball through eight. Trying to keep the pressure off the anchor bowler. Carl with him. Use a marker two here. On the spare. Tough break, 3 1. Six fill. Lead is 12 for Harry's All Stars. 75 to 8. Ryan Cox. Withdraw. A double strike. Another strike. 117 plus 2 in the ninth. 27 year old. Huge here in the string. Cox is open. And they need to mark out. They might need a double. He's trying to collect them and then try to trade them off. Ryan Cox at nine. That far off, ten. 84 through nine. Great young bull on the rise. He's 20 years old. 
Having an off string here. 123 league board. Try to get a mark here. Lemon drop. One dollar for Al Johnson's Caleb Fitzgerald kids. That's three dollars in this string alone. Cha-ching. Drawing a strike with his second double, but right in the middle. Right, Fred Eagle plus the eight pin. Come on, get the bunch of four. They amplify the importance of the second ball against this difficult configuration. Cox punch out the half wister. Yikes. Boudreau, six to strike. Good job, John. Good job. Three more. 123 through nine. Ryan, tough five. 89 string. Boudreau, big three. 132 for Jonathan Boudreau. Double strike and a strike. Three strikes and a spare in the string. That's pro bowling. It's John for the last minute sub. All of a sudden, it's a 23 pin lead. Well, he's the starter. He John Taylor was, was originally scheduled to go for that match. No marks to the board. Jonathan Madron on fire. And and ordinary, he knows he could have had more, too. An ordinary strike field, but gained pins in the third ball as well. Half Big advantage now. Kyle Worth needs a double. That's a 3 1 1. That's what his team needed, though. John Winchell, 81 through 8. Trying to close it out here. Has a 2 2 split. John, Jonathan Madron is going to try to get a 246 this, this weekend. Mark would still help. With him. Good try. Will it go? Not quite. And it's looking grim here now. Winchell grabs the short two. Ten for Kyle Witham. 92 through nine. Oh, another great young bowler, 119 average. Only 31 years old. Winchell 10, 91 through nine. So Harry's All Stars goes to five and one now. We just confirmed. Five and one for Harry's All Stars. Huff Power Sports will drop a two and four. Nine more matches to go after this. All separate broadcasts. We'll sign up after this. Come back for our second of ten matches. Six tomorrow, starting nine o'clock. It's mathematical. Playing out the string here, Winchell Spread Eagle. Kyle oh, Whitham just a head pin there. Teams congratulate each other. Great sportsmanship always. Kim from bowling. Other sports they have fights sometimes after a string or match. Kyle oh, Whitham, nice out. A nine. One on one string. Jonathan Boudreau, a beast today. 132, four marks, a double strike, and another double, another strike. Your thoughts on the match? Your team is five and one now. Uh, long way to go. Gotta keep going. I talked about you the approach podcast. I think you're one of the hottest bowlers right now. Well, um, you've been you know, 684, the uh, Kenilworth Cancer roll off, and a 635. You're just taking up to a, a level right now. Simply getting back the old Jonathan Boudreau. Well, bowling more that helps. You know. Getting healthy more, getting more reps, and uh, you know, and luckily, so far it's going well. So fingers crossed. Just yeah. hope it stays there. You know. You had a good year last year too. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Jonathan Madrill, 132. John Winchell, nine and 100 string. So the final score, 542 to 519. Harry's All Star wins it. They go to five and one. Huff Power Sports drops to two and four. Paul Grant, Greg Guglia, Bob Lee, Saint Solon for now. We'll see you in a few minutes for our second match of ten. This has been a presentation of Spread Eagle Productions. Subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions. See you in a few minutes.